closing arguments is set to begin in the trial of the so-called pillowcase rapist. CBS 4's Terry Hornstein is live outside the Metro Justice Building in Miami with more. Terry? Yeah, good morning. We are expecting to hear from both sides in this case in just a few hours here at the courthouse in Miami. 63-year-old Robert Kohler, he is accused of being the kill, uh, pillowcase rapist, rather, and he took the stand in his own defense, painting what could only be described as a bizarre picture of what he says happened. He talked about being kidnapped and tortured by a group of police officers who he says planted his DNA on a woman who was a victim of rape. Kohler is accused of attacking dozens of women in the 19th 80s, covering his face or theirs with a pillowcase. During the trial, we heard from a woman who says she was sexually assaulted by the pillowcase rapist. Because I knew that if I didn't get him out of the house, my husband had just left for work, I would have been there all night. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I just kept saying, you've got to leave. He carries a gun. He's on his way here. He just finished work at 8. Uh, you've, you've, you've got to leave. He's going to kill you. He carries a gun. You've got to leave, got to leave, got to leave. Police say they were able to track Kohler down after collecting his DNA from his son. Kohler was arrested back in 2020. Now, if the jury does find him guilty, he will, he could face, rather, life in prison. We're live for you in Miami this morning. Terry Hornstein, CBS4 This Morning.